my name is Amy Ford. I've been a registered nurse for 17 years. I'm from the small town of Williamson, West Virginia, where I've lived my entire life, the daughter of a nurse and a coal miner. Even though I was the youngest of four children, I was always somewhat of a caretaker. It came natural for me. So it felt right to follow in my mother's footsteps and become a nurse. And this March, when COVID-19 sent our country into crisis, I knew I had to help any way that I could. I deployed to New York in April and then to San Antonio, Texas, working as a COVID relief nurse in both states. As I contended with the challenges of treating our patients who had their worlds turned upside down, I noticed a positive change in our healthcare system. President Trump recognized the threat this virus presented for all Americans early on and made rapid policy changes. And as a result, telehealth services are now accessible to more than 71 million Americans, including 35 million children. Prior to COVID, telehealth was not covered or reimbursed under Medicare, Medicaid, or CHIP. This left our most vulnerable populations with no other choice but to have an in-person office visit with their physicians, increasing their risk of exposure to COVID-19 exponentially. The expansion of telehealth services has also resulted in the integration of video visits between patients and their families, allowing loved ones to have contact and visualization, as well as a better understanding of care. Telehealth has been essential during this pandemic. I don't want the media taking my personal story and twisting it, so let me be clear. As a healthcare professional, I can tell you without hesitation, Donald Trump's quick action and leadership saved thousands of lives during COVID-19. And the benefits of that response extend far beyond coronavirus. Telehealth will continue to aid many that are just unable to find transportation or a way to the doctor for regular checkups. This is especially true in rural America. I live in a town of about 2,000 people. We do not have buses, trains, trolleys, or Ubers available to us. In addition, the unavailability of services can also hinder treatment for many. So increased access to telehealth for millions of Americans has truly been life-saving, and we have President Trump to thank.